Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are back in the house this week, uh, so with my rice bookshelf behind us. Uh, funnily enough, my wife actually started recording booktube videos of herself uh, like in this past week or so, and she, she's using this exact location, so it, you might see some similarities. Anyway, today's video is going to be on our latest read, which is an Agatha Christie novel, The Secret Adversary. This is my second Agatha book. The first of which was Murder on the Orient Express. Uh, that book I found to be a bit hard to follow. Just lost all, all the characters going around and doing their thing. Uh, going into this book though, I, I found it to be similar but more manageable than that book. So in this book, we follow two main characters on their quest for adventure and I think that was able to kind of ground it more in my mind and make it easier to follow but even still there were a, there were a lot of characters and also what who would write a book and have a Mr. Brown and an Inspector Brown completely different people Like what? What are you? What are you doing there, Agatha? I just, I just don't see why. Like, I feel like that just makes it needlessly complex and harder to follow. Uh, so I did not appreciate that facet of the book. I think this book was a lot better with than other books I've read about not just going from here to here to here to here, and like the decisions that were made were kind of well thought out and like premeditated i didn't really appreciate at the end how it, people were just so trusting of like i don't know it, it was just kind of a little odd at the end yeah i feel like the main characters were just way too trusting of other people considering the circumstances and eh, i i think the book is a little worse off because of it like they weren't even kind of skeptical when they sh really should have been uh, I also really didn't like at the end when people were just like starting to marry left and right and the, the, was that guy marrying his cousin like there was just a lot of weird choices also the book used the word queer quite a lot and I'm, and in a way that, like, I, I really don't know what they're trying to say. Like, it, it doesn't mean, they're not using it in the situation of any modern usage of the word queer. So, I really don't know what they were trying, I'm going to look it up. Oh. Interesting. So apparently, uh, the word queer would, means peculiar or strange, and uh, then people use uh, people use the word queer to describe, you know, homosexual people, and then they decided to take it back. So yeah, I didn't know that. Any hoopst? I thought this book was it was good. Uh, you know, it, it it had its faults. It, it wasn't amazing, but you know, it was it was good for a book. I feel like that probably came across wrong, but we're not gonna worry about that. Yeah, overall, it I think it had a lot of good moments, a lot of suspense. Was there a lot of substance behind that? Um, I feel like it just kind of lost me a lot, and, you know, that's what, it, it, it's hard to, you know, rate it good when it's, when it loses you. Uh, I still thought it was alright. Uh, I've been debating what to give this book. I also don't really have a clear scale in my head, so it, 
it might be it might be wildly inaccurate but i think i'll give this book three and a half stars uh because it you know it was good and and enjoyable but it it had some you know pitfalls for me where it's you know harder to follow characters aren't really making sense and why is he marrying his cousin anyway that about wraps it up for uh today's video uh as a pay forward into our next video we will be delving into another book in the non-fiction genre i'm not going to share the author of next video's uh book because i don't think they've written very many books and it's you know non-fiction so i'll i'll leave it at that and uh but yeah i'm almost halfway through and yeah, I'm excited to tell you about it. I'll see you then.